And these are all the um, actions that took place with this warrant, okay? So this is the, the general, um, as you guys can see, a lot of activity on this thing, okay? And you know what? Let me enlarge it for you guys just so you can kind of see what the hell's going on here. So I'll go ahead and scroll through it with, with, you, with you guys real fast, and then I'll actually pull up the document in itself, all right? But it was filed on the 5th, sealed magistrate matter search warrant issued on 8-5, okay? And then a uh, motion to unseal was on the 10th, all right? That's after they, they executed it on the 8th, all right? And then this is all the stuff that's been going on after the fact, all right? CBS obviously trying to get it, the New York Times, okay? All these people, EW Scripps Company, right? Everyone is trying to get this thing unsealed, all right? Dow and Jones Company, EW Scripps, boom, right? Um, and then... Uh, uh, Notice of appearance by Andrea Flynn Morgan on behalf of the Florida Center for Government Accountability, Inc. Okay. Um, so, yeah, everyone and their mom was looking at this thing, right? So, here is the document, guys, and I have it right here for y'all. Went ahead and took the liberty of getting it. Um, so, as you guys can see, United States District Court, Southern District of Florida. Here's the case number, 22MJ8332BER, Okay. This is the actual case number for this search warrant, all right? Uh, notice of filing of redacted documents. The United States hereby gives notice that it is filing following document, which is a redacted version of material previously filed in this case number under seal. The search warrant, not including the affidavit, signed and approved by the court on August 5th, 2022, including attachments A and B. See, what we really need, though, guys, is attachment fucking C. Attachment C is the affidavit. The affidavit is written by the case agent, okay? The affiant is going to be an, uh, a special agent with the FBI, and he's going to go ahead and document all the facts that led to them getting the probable cause to be able to get the search warrant. And going back to my conspiracy theory here, okay? For them to be able to go ahead and get a search warrant on a former president's home, I know 99% chance that there was probably a cooperator that went in there and gave them information, detailed information, that told them what kind of documents they were looking for, where the documents were held, etc., so that the FBI can go ahead and get a search warrant. Because as much as you know, I know on Fox News, again, this is me being unbiased here, as much as Fox News is saying this is a fishing expedition, they're just hating on Trump, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, the fact of the matter is this. The Department of Justice clearly has a hard-on for Trump. Therefore, since they have a hard-on for Trump, they're going to make sure that their T's are crossed and their I's are dotted. So I already know that this affidavit was probably written really well. It was probably extremely thorough, probably had a bunch of facts in there to substantiate them searching because they know it's going to be challenged. They know that Trump has the ability to hire the best lawyers that money can buy. They know that it's going to be challenged. They know that anything they do when they file against Donald Trump is going to be challenged by a whole team of attorneys. So, I know at the highest levels of the Department of Justice, this thing was reviewed a million times by a bunch of different attorneys. And for them to go ahead and get assigned by a judge meant that a million people already looked at it. OK, and that it's probably extremely thorough and there's probably informants involved. And they, I guarantee you it's probably not just one, probably multiple people went ahead and cooperated with the FBI and gave information on this for them to be able to get a search warrant on a residence. To get a search warrant on a residence, guys, is extremely difficult, okay? So if you look at, like, thresholds, all right? Let's say I arrest you and I catch you with a cell phone, right? And I know you're a drug trafficker. I need a search warrant for your phone, all right? That's going to be easy to get because I caught you uh, c committing a crime. All I need to say is this subject is a drug trafficker. I know that cell phones are used a lot of the times to commit drug trafficking activity, et cetera. It's going to be easy for me to get that search warrant, right? Then let's say I want to search your car. I get a search warrant for your car because I believe that you're involved in some criminal activity and your vehicle was used in the commission of said activity. Let's say you're a bank robber and I think that there's going to be masks and gloves and duct tape and guns and everything else like that in your car. Well, it's going to be fairly easy for me to go ahead and get a search warrant of that vehicle. It's going to be a little bit harder than that phone, obviously, but it's still going to be fairly easy because it's a vehicle a house guys is at the top of the echelon when it comes to difficulty of getting a search warrant why well because a home is considered to be your castle it's considered to be um the grossest uh, invasion of privacy when someone searches your home the two hardest search warrants to get guys are a search warrant for a home and then a little bit above that is a title three intercept which is what a wiretap listening to someone's phone because when you listen to someone's phone not only are you impeding on their freedom right you're also pitting on other people that are calling them. So 
those are the two hardest warrants to get signed because you need quite a bit of probable cause to be able to justify, all right, going into someone's home and or listening to their phones, all right? Now, if it's a FISA warrant, right, and you, you suspect the person of some type of uh, terrorism or espionage or like some kind of national security threat, well, that goes through the FISA court. That's that's a little bit different. That's a whole other world. So okay. are you saying there was an informant or there had to be informants that I, were connected to Trump in order for this to happen? I believe so. For them to be able to get a search warrant of his house, they, they had to have had um, people on the inside that were able to, that had went in the residence and saw the documents. Got had it. to. Oof. Had to. So, um, um, but yeah, that's a good question because it's not, you, you, nine out of 10 times when you get a search warrant for a home, you're able to get the search warrant because someone went inside and it they knows that there's criminal activity. There. Yeah, exactly. They would have to know it's there. So that's what makes me think um, that someone cooperated with the FBI to give them that information. Now, I'm not dumb. The reason why they don't want to release the affidavit is because if they release the affidavit, it's going to be extremely obvious as to who revealed the information. Because I guarantee you, Trump probably has a close circle of people that have mm -hmm. that that would know information like that. So he would be able to quickly identify whoever is cooperating with the FBI, him and his legal team would be able to quickly identify and that would compromise that person's, I mean, maybe not their safety, so to speak, but it would compromise their sources and they would no longer be able to do their investigation because it's probably an active investigation that they got going on. And that source will no longer be able to cooperate because bam, now the source is burned. So guys like the fucking video because ain't nobody going to give y'all sauce like that. And just so you guys know, all right, when I was an agent myself, I've written, Hundreds of search warrants. Okay, I wrote them for phones. I wrote them for cars. I wrote them for houses. I wrote them for wiretaps. I wrote them for um, man, all, all kinds of uh, situations. All right, those are the most those are the most common. I've done it for laptops, iPads. I've done a bunch of search warrants, guys. So me reading through this, I already know what time it is when they get a search warrant for a house. I already know. 